Trevor Franson right alongside in car 25. Jerry Orvis is number 36, is joined in row number two by Ben Godlewski in car 47. Nick Wilcox inside the next row. Nick drives car 82. David the Who Paskiewicz outside the double zero. Donnie Paskiewicz inside the next row in 661 outside of him. In the number 15 automobile, Louis Horvath. Car number 144, J.J. Wachowski, 8, Jimmy Shambo. Car number 83H, Pat Heaney, 14, Tim Cherwink, 01, Mike Watson, 53, Jeremy Bragan, 99, the automobile driven by Jimmy Reinhardt, the number 1, Jay Shambo, 4, Tony Sansonati, 288, Roger Lee, and car number 24, that is driven by Jeff Groff. That is your field for 20 laps of action. Eddie Ledger joins the field in car number 62. Machine running should be back underway. The rookie driver driving car number 53 back in the chase. Rack continues to pace the field. Two laps into a 20 lap feature. Jeremy Bragan well off the pace with car number 53 as Rack is out in front with the 44 entry. And a two-car incident. Now make it three up in corner number four. And now four as the champion, defending champ, Jay Shambo, gets turned around. Dave Pasquet, which triggering the event. Nick Wilcox joining the fray along with Tim Sherwink puts the field under caution early in tonight's feature for the Hales Wales competitors. Willie Seiske back to Hales in a machine, I believe, originally constructed by Ted Dolan way back in 1968. The machine's been around a long, long time. Stock car Willie set to return to action. Three wide action up in corner number three, and now one machine gets out of shape as Jerry Orvis is number 36. Jerry stays down in the infield area, bounding through it wildly. Hopefully he can rejoin the chases. Rack faces the field. Pat Heaney working to the inside of Trevor Francis, number 25. Heaney's on the move. Godlewski backsliding to fourth in car 47, and Mike Watson already in the top five with car 01. Jerry Orvis is uh, looking in the rear view mirror out the right side of the automobile with a whole lot of anxiety, but his machine sits mired in the infield area. Jerry trying to move the automobile is the way it looks from our vantage point as Rack continues to pace the event. Ben Godlewski on the move with car 47, working to the inside of Trevor Francis, number 25, as Pat Heaney has advanced to second in car number 83H. Roger Lee among the front runners early in tonight's feature action as now three wide competition takes place off corner number four. Godlewski on the inside, Mike Watson in the middle, and Franson on the outside in car 25. 14, Tim Sherwink in the wall up in corner number three. That produces a yellow flag on lap number eight in tonight's feature action. Challenger in car number 83. He runs in the second spot. Trevor Franson running third in car 25. Back to green flag action at the command from starter Bob Martin. Roger Lee goes topside, working to the other portion of the speedway in car 288. Roger Lee advances all the way to third. Wachowski off the pace with car 144 as Pat Heaney takes over the top spot. Heaney's your new race leader. Now 
now Steve Rack battles back. Heaney and Rack going at it for the top spot. Roger Lee is right there at car 288. Lee sees the success of Pat Heaney. Follows in his tire tracks. Heaney leads it as car number 288. Roger Lee will advance to second. for the Hales Wales division. Rack still with a great run going for him. Holds down the third spot in car 44. Trevor Franson is fourth with Mike Watson running in the fifth position. Jim Reinhardt goes around down in corner number two. Once again, Jerry Orvis gets started around. I believe there's a flat tire on the number 99. Jimmy Reinhardt entry is Lee. 15 laps of the 20 lap distance complete. 83. Pat Heaney running in the second spot. Trevor Franson holding down third. Mike Watson fourth. And 44, Steve Rack rounding out the top five. Well, Jerry Orvis has had an interesting evening indeed. Down in corners three and four for a while watching it over his shoulder and now seeing the machines bear down on him in corner number three. Good battery on the Orvis machine as it refires and at least pulls partially into the safety of the infield. 288, Roger Lee now making it academic as he has a big advantage over 83H, Pat Heaney. Mike Watson gets together with Trevor Franson. Watson gets sideways as Jimmy Reinhardt's number 99 comes to rest up in corner number three. Final three laps of feature competition. Lee out in front of Pat Heaney. Trevor Franson, great run for Trevor tonight in car 25. He holds down third. Mike Watson fourth with number eight. Jim Shambo, the veteran from Milwaukee, running in the fifth spot with the headquarters bar sponsored automobile. Shambo with a great run going for him here this evening. We're trying to be a major factor in the outcome is Roger Lee. Two laps from victory, works his way off corner number four. really get together heading down into corner number one they sort their differences out but both lose substantial ground in the running order as Roger Lee will pick up the white flag this time around one lap from victory Trevor Franson working to the outside of 83H Pat Heaney eight Jimmy Shambo taking over the four spot for Mike Watson but only for the moment as Watson battles back Roger Lee out in front on his way to victory number three here at the Hales Corner Speedway this season. Look at the action for two on back. Heaney has the second spot. Lee wins it. Heaney finishes in the number two spot. Mike Watson comes home third. Jimmy Shambaugh fourth. And Trevor Franson rounding out the top five as Jeremy Bragan gets turned around. What a night of action being capped by a great victory by Roger Lee in car number 288, the American United Taxi Entry. That does it for bailing racing equipment here at the Hales Corner Speedway. This evening, Tom Quipple on behalf of the entire Midwest Speedway staff, thanking you for coming out, and we'll see you right back here Friday night 